Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a lecturer's management system using PHP Code Igniter, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video I completed the functionality of viewing all the posts of a specific user. Okay, And uh, in this video I will discuss about developing the functionality of uh, this approved and pending feature. Okay, uh, so before starting this video, I would just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video, click on like button, uh, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will get regular updates of my upcoming videos. Okay, so now let us start developing this functionality. Okay, so this is my already existing application. So I will just log out from this application and I will close this browser. Okay, and uh, in my other browser, you can see I have... Uh, open my current application on which I am working right now okay which is lecturers okay so here in this application which we guys are working from past many days we have added only two users in this application okay so now when I click on this view you can see there are some posts start displaying that means these are the posts which this Jacob Holland has posted okay so now out of these three posts there is only one post which has been approved by the admin okay the remaining two posts are in pending state and when i click on this pending button this pending will also will get changed to approved okay so what will happen when the posts are in pending state okay so whenever the posts are in pending state that means those posts will not be shown on the uh, users home page okay so now let me just show you that i will just log out from this okay and now I will log in as a normal user now when I click on submit you will see although I have published many posts some six to seven posts have been published by uh, two users one is Jacob and another one is Michael but still it's displaying only one post inside this home page of user okay that means only one post is been approved by the admin and remaining all the posts have not been uh, approved by the admin okay so that's why only one post is displaying on this home page okay so now uh, if admin has approved all the posts then all those posts will start displaying here on this home page okay so that will be going to cover in this video okay so now let me just log out and again log in as an admin okay so now i have logged in again as an admin so i will click on this view link of michael brown okay so now you can see michael has posted two posts and both of his posts are in pending state okay so now for developing this functionality first we need to go to our uh, this view user page okay so which we have developed in our last video so now let me just take you to the view user page okay so now here on our editor view user php file is been open and we have to go to the place where we have written this table so where we have displayed the image of the uh, user and the post published date and then this status field okay so here you can see uh, from this table our design gets started okay and this table ends here okay and we have to come to this uh, approved section okay where this is the td okay so this last td belongs to this status column okay so now here in our last video we had designed this table okay where our my post will hold the entire data okay let me just uncomment this and save it and when I refresh okay so now you can see it's displaying the details of all the post okay the name of the user who have pu published that post and the ID of the user who have published this post okay and then the ID of the post post okay and date and time on which the post has been posted and the user file of that user and the status field okay so this uh, so to display this status field along with the result you have to add this status field in the query okay so now let me just show you that so i will copy this and i will go to the admin controller okay so here i will copy this get my post and i will go to user model so here you can see i have get my post function okay so inside this i have written the sql query uh, which 
is returning me this data okay so in this query you also need to include this tbl post dot status okay if you didn't use include this status and if you try to access then you will get an error because your data set will not have the status field that's why you will get error here so now what you need to do is you need to include status field also inside this query okay so if you do that you will get the status information as well inside your data set inside your output okay so now uh, this status i will be using inside my view user form okay so now i have got access to the status field using this my post object okay so i will use this my post of okay so here you can see i am iterating over this my post okay and i will use this row to access the status okay so now when i am writing this row arrow status that means i am accessing this status field of this record okay so now here i am checking what i am checking is if the status is equals to 1 okay now let me just take you to the table okay now i will open my post table so okay, in, inside the post table you will see the for only one post the status field is set to 1 okay and then for all the remaining post the status field is 0 so here i am checking so now whosoever's post status field is equals to 1 uh, for that post i will display the status as approved okay uh, if the others post status field is set to zero that means these posts are yet to be uh, approved by the admin so in that case i will display pending status in front of those posts okay so here you can clearly see let me just refresh okay uh, view user 67 okay save it you to the Jacob Holland profile okay so here now you can see for only this post the status field is set to 1 that's why approved status is displaying and for these two post status field is not set to 1 it's still in zero state that's why pending status is displaying okay so that's what I have done here in my view user file okay so now if the state is been set to pending then what i have done is i want to make it as approved okay so whenever i will click on this pending link okay i am sending a request to check post status function present inside admin controller and along with this url i have set the id of the user as well as the id of the post okay uh, so now uh, here i will go to the check post function inside admin controller so here you can see i have created this check post status and in this check post status function i have passed the user id as well as the post id okay so uh, both of this i uh, post id and user id i will pass to this function and control will come inside this function where i will make a call to this update post status function which i have created inside user model and to this function i have post the post id and here you can see i will come at the bottom update post status as you can see this function is taking the post id and uh, here i will update the status from 0 to 1 okay that's what update query i have written it here okay uh, wherever i find that post id okay i will turn the status field of that post from 0 to 1 okay so now let me just uh, show you that thing as well okay, i will refresh it okay so now i will click on this pending when i click on this pending then it gets turned to approved okay so now in this table you will see now two posts have been published by the admin or approved by the admin okay so uh, i hope you guys have understood okay so whenever i click on this link a request gets sent to check post status function which i have created inside the admin controller along with the user id and the post id okay and then control will come here where 
I will I will receive that user ID and post ID inside this function and again I will make a call to this update post status and I will pass the post ID of that post to which admin wants to approve okay and then control will come to this user model where I am turning the status from 0 to 1 based on the post ID okay and then if the status uh, successfully gets changed the control will come back again here to the controller okay and uh, then the response gets started displaying to the user and that means the status will get changed from pending to approval okay so now this is uh, everything about uh, developing the functionality of changing the status of any post from pending to approved okay and one more thing so now uh, we have seen the functionality of changing the status from pending to approved okay so now what should happen when the status gets changed from pending to approved okay so whenever a user normal user gets logged in now I will log out as an admin and again I will log in as a normal user okay so now I have logged in as a normal user as you can see just few seconds back I have or an admin has approved an another post that's why two posts are displaying here inside this home page okay so we have to develop that functionality as well so for that we have to go to the our editor okay uh, and uh, we have to go to our user dashboard okay because we have to display the post on the users dashboard page okay so now here you can see this is the section where I have written the functionality of displaying this post okay so you have to go to the users dashboard and uh, here okay before this tr get started okay in between this table and tr tag we have to write this code okay so here i am checking uh, if that post has a status as one that means if the admin has approved that post then i want to display that post on the users dashboard okay so that check i am doing here before displaying the post on the users dashboard okay so for that i have written an if condition and with that if condition i am checking by passing the user id as well as the post id to this function okay so i will just take you to this here okay so now you can see this is my check post approval function okay which i have created inside user model so here i am checking uh, whether the user id and the post id and the status field for that post is been set to 1 as you can see here i have used i have used all these thing inside of where clause okay so for that particular post i am checking whether the user id of that post and the post id of that post and the status of that post is been set to 1 then only i will get that post and i will display that post on the users dashboard okay so now here end if so this is the end if of this particular if okay so now while displaying the post of all the users i am making a check whether that particular post has set the status field to one or not if not then i will not be displaying that post here on the user dash dashboard that means uh, that post is not yet approved by the admin okay so this is everything about developing the functionality of approving the post okay and uh, displaying the approved post on the users dashboard okay so now again i will log in as an admin log out okay so now i will approve all the post okay so this one also i have approved and I will approve Michael's all the posts okay approved and approved okay so now uh, I will log out as an admin and I will log in as a normal user log in as an Jacob okay so now you can see since I have approved all the posts of all the users that's why their posts are started displaying here on this users dashboard okay 
so this is everything about developing the functionality of approving the pending posts and displaying all those posts on the user's dashboard okay so i hope you guys have understood this functionality which we have discussed in this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching